Let's get started by importing the content security policy helper from the next slash security package. This will give us a fluent interface to construct our CSP rules. We also set the runtime configuration to experimental edge indicating our function will be running at the edge as a middleware in Next.js 14. Here, we define an asynchronous function called handler. This function will be responsible for handling requests to our server and it's where we will set up our content security policy. We initialize a new instance of the content security policy class, which will allow us to define our security policy. Now, let's set up CSP rules for font sources to ensure we only load fonts from trusted providers. We add fonts googleopis.com and fonts gstatic.com as approved sources for font files using the font src add method. Next, we define our frame sources. By using the frame src add method, we specify that frames can be loaded from youtube.com and player vimeo.com. This is essential if we're embedding videos from these platforms. This is the part where we can expand our content security policy with additional directives if needed. For instance, you can allow script sources from specific trusted domains by using the script src add method. Now we create a new headers object. We include our CSP rules by setting the content security policy header to the value returned by the CSP instances toString method. This serializes all of our added directives into the correct header format. Finally, we create a new response object for our request handler. We pass the headers object we just constructed. This ensures that the content security policy headers are included in every response sent from this handler.